what is up you guys i am back with another video you guys haven't seen my face in ages but i'm here with a super quick video for you guys so i still get tons of emails dedicated all about business so of course i'm going to continue to make amazing videos geared towards bettering your business and starting your business for those of you who do not know my name is amani jelena and i'm the owner of the infamous allure 96 and also, I am the brand owner of AmaniJelina.co. So as you guys can see from the title below, this video is all about creating policies for your company. Now, when creating policies for your hair company, your cosmetic company, your natural skincare company, it's very important and policies are extremely critical when it comes to the regulations of your company because ultimately your policies is going to be the thing that backs you up in case there's any mishaps within your business. So when you are creating policies, I want you guys to definitely think about certain things. I want you to think about how you want to operate your shipping, shipping and handling, your return policies. Um, I also want you guys to think about lost packages, damage packages, and figure out what exactly you want to do with your particular company. So I'm going to throw out a few things that I think is essential for each company when in the process of creating orders. The first thing is going to be shipping and handling. For my company, Allure 96, which is an infamous hair company, so shop with us, I speak heavily on shipping. Um, so first I figured out which company that I wanted to ship my products through and that is United States Postal Service and then I had to figure out which type of packages that I'll be sending in order to reach my customers at an appropriate and within an, an appropriate time frame so that's when I decided on the one to three day shipping. Within that, I also have a processing time, so I make sure I make note of that in my policy so that my customers have an exact time frame on when they should be expecting each package. So not only do I specify that, but I also specify things as if things such as holidays. Holidays are extremely important because some people can order a package today and expect it to be there tomorrow when that's not the case with all companies. With my particular hair company, there's a two to four day processing time, depending on the volume of the order, along with, with a one to three day shipping time. So I make all of that known within my policies. Some other things that I have within my policies are lost items, damaged items, exchange items, and so forth. So for instance, I did not want to be responsible 100% um, if things out of my control happens. Now, if there is something that Allure 96, if there is something that happens with Allure 96 in an error that I made on my behalf, I would then go in and fix a, fix a package, send out additional merchandise or whatever. But for some reason, if United States Postal Service makes some type of error where, where they happen to deliver a package to a wrong address or they happen to mishandle a fragile order, I let that be known in my policies that Allure 96 is not responsible for that. And that is something you would want to take up with the United States Postal Service. I put insurance on all of my or all of my packages. So for all standard orders, there's a $50 insurance. And also, um, if you wanted to apply for extra insurance on your packages, that is something that you can do at checkout with Allure 96. If you want to, you know, pay additional for security when it does come to insurance purposes for your orders, that is always an option. But I make it very known that Allure 96 is not responsible once this reaches United States Postal Service's possession. So I want you guys to really think on some of the stuff that I mentioned and think about some of the things that you may want to bring over to your company regarding policies. Policies are extremely important. In the description box, I'm going to leave a sample. I'm going to leave the link to my policy page on Allure 96 so that you guys can get a better glimpse of everything that I'm saying. But something that I want you guys to make note of, I want you guys to speak very thoroughly when you're creating these policies policies don't let there be any wiggle room or gap room for error when it does come to your policy so if you if, so if it takes you two weeks to come up with a policy page 
wait it out. If you can create policies within one day, something's wrong. With all of that being said, I want you guys to think heavily within your policies. I want you guys to go ahead and take at Allure 96, take a look at Allure 96's policies. And you know, if you like some of the things or some of the wording that I have, you are more than welcome to browse my policy page and take out pieces of information that maybe you want to, want to utilize in a sense. Um, but policies are important. So, I, today is um, Sunday, tomorrow is Memorial Day. So I hope all of you guys are staying extremely safe through this crazy pandemic that is taking place right now. I am safe, my family is safe. Thank all of you guys who reached out to me just to check on me and like ask me where the hell have you been? I've been fine. Um, I've definitely taken a extensive break with quite a few things in my life just to kind of get a little motivated because I was feeling demotivated for a while but to get a little motivated to get spiritual relief um, and, and so forth so I love all of you guys continue to stay safe and I will see you in my next video until next time Mwah.